Taisho Nuclear Power Station is the world's largest nuclear power plant when it starts commercial operation in December 2013. The Taisho Nuclear Power Plant is a nuclear power plant in Taisho, Guangdong Province, in China. The plant features two operational EPR reactors. The first unit, Taisho 1, entered commercial service in December 2018 but was shut down from July 2021 to August 2022 to investigate and fix issues with a fuel road cladding. The second unit, Aishan 2, entered commercial service in September 2019. Delays at other EPR construction sites in Finland and France meant that Aishan was the first nuclear power plant to have an operational EPR. Excavation work began in August 26, 2008. The first concrete for the first unit was poured in October 2009. Construction of each unit was planned to take 46 months, significantly faster and cheaper than the first two EPRs in Finland and France. These plans proved that Elizabeth to start up was repeatedly delayed. In February 2017, after 88 months of the construction, CG NPS announced that the competition of the reactors would be delayed until the second half of 2017 and the first half of 2018. The Chinese nuclear project is benefiting from the experience gained from the Finnish and the French NPPS, with significant saving in the cost and the construction time. The Taishan plant will be pressured water reactors built from the third generation European technology. The project is owned by the Guangdong Taisha Nuclear Power Joint Venture Company. The plant's twin reactors each have an end plate capacity 1750 megawatts. It is Arabel generators, are the largest single piece electrical generators in the world, each weighing 495 tons and built by Dongfang Electric. Of the 3500 megawatts gross delivered, around 180 megawatts will be used by plant system. Most of this is used to power the pumps that feed water into the steam generators. The pair of reactors can deliver 3320 megawatts for supply to the grid, making these the most powerful reactors in the world. Arriva was contracted to develop the nuclear island and supply fuel for 15 years, as well as providing technology transfer and engineering services. In December 2017, 
Hong Kong media reported the boiler had cracked during testing and that welding on the component was considered problematic. Neither the nuclear plant's operators, the manufacturer of the affected component responded to the news agency request for comment. The boiler was later found to be a very which removed the soil blocks of the water by heating it. In January 2018, commissioning was rescheduled, with commercial operation expected in late 2018 and 2019. This was the third delay in two years, involving a further deferral of 5 billion yuan. It was estimated that the plant's investment cost would rise to between 22 and 23 yuan per watt, from our original budget 14 yuan. On April 9, 2018, the official letter of approving the initial fuel loading of the first unit of the Taisha nuclear power plant was issued by the National Nuclear Safety Administration. Taisha Unit 1 began fuel loading at 6.18 on April 10, marking the beginning of the fuel loading of the first reactor using the third generation nuclear power technology, EPR. Daishan produces electricity using the heat that comes from the speeding uranium atoms in a process called nuclear fission. The fuel is a naturally occurring uranium that persists in the small pellets. The pellets are sealed into metal tubes, which are welded together to form a fuel bundle. The fuel bundles are then inserted into the large tank, called the calendria, which is the heart of the nuclear reactor in reactors. A special kind of water called heavy water flows around the fuel. Bundles heavy water is found in all water, river lakes and oceans. On average one out of every 7,000 drops of water is heavy water. It's 10% heavier than ordinary water drops because it incorporates a heavy form of hydrogen called deuterium. The heavy water slows down tiny particles called neutrons so they are more likely to hit and split the uranium atoms. A chain reaction of the speeding atoms releases tremendous heat into the heavy water. The heated heavy water flows through a closed loop system that's pumped through the reactors to set up the steam generators, 
where is the transfers to the heat to ordinary water. When that water boils, it turns into steam. The steam is transported with high pressure through pipes to a large turbine where it pushes the blades and turns a shaft connected to the rotor into the generator, causing the rotor to spin the spinning rotors with a large electromagnet that produces rotating magnetic fields. These fields move across coils of copper. It's a generator producing electricity. The electricity is fed into transmission lines that carry the power from Taishan to people's homes and businesses.